Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here, my name is Lainey. Today I have a fun video for you guys and something that I would find really helpful myself and even when I make these videos I need to remind myself to come back and like watch these because they're good ideas I even tend to forget when just like getting dressed day to day and that's what I like making for you guys is videos that will just spark something already in your wardrobe. Before we get into this video though I do want to say thank you so much to Cotton for sponsoring. I'll be wearing their rugby shirt through the whole talking portion because I literally haven't stopped wearing a few of their rugby style shirts. I also have this one that actually has avocado on it from Feeding Baby. Uh, it's got the zipper so it's a little bit more like casual than the collared and I'm so obsessed with them. I'm gonna have little clips of me showing how to accessorize outfits while wearing all these pieces from Cotton. I'll just go through and show you the pieces really quickly that I got from Cotton but if you guys didn't watch my haul video last week I already showed these so I have the little knit socks that are very key to my styling video today and then just a basic long sleeve green like t-shirt material and I am obsessed with all the pieces so if you guys have never heard of cotton before they really value conscious creation and consumption beliefs really align with my channel and what I know so many of you guys look for when purchasing new clothing these pieces are designed to last and you can tell just by touching your first piece from cotton also they all ship in just a reusable tote bag there was no plastic not a single piece of plastic in my shipment i was my jaw was on the floor when i saw that i literally audibly gasped and like if they can do it why can't other companies sorry i've been stalking their instagram for a really long time they have one of the fall trends i can't stop talking about which is rugby tees but you know they play into the trends that will last in your closet okay let's get into the accessorizing some of the cotton pieces you don't even need to accessorize like this is such a statement piece and i'll talk about that in a little bit but let's get into if you're just wearing like jeans and a t-shirt how to spice up your clothes don't worry it's not just put on jewelry so I've been seeing a lot of the videos on TikTok, and this user was the first to bring it to TikTok, and she said she got it from my video which I can't even take credit for the idea of styling versus wearing your clothes literally it was one of you guys I need to find the comment because I said like it half ASS in a video and one of you guys was like that'd be such a good video of showing how to style versus wearing your clothes so I don't I don't even want the credit. I want you guys to get the credit because it's literally a trend on TikTok now that I see on my like for you page all the time and I don't know I kind of get like a pit in my stomach because I'm like I want this credit to go to my commenter but that's besides the point these girls are really taking it in, in a fun way but something I've seen on TikTok when people do this styling versus wearing your clothes it is just adding a shit ton of accessories a shit ton of jewelry and layering and all that kind of stuff and if you watch my original video it was more just like taking an essence of a piece whether that was just flipping your tank top or like cuffing your jeans like you know that kind of stuff and I do see that too when people like button their clothes and wear off the shoulder and stuff like that I the original creator who brought it to TikTok she did that again so cute nothing wrong with how they're you know just adding a bunch of SHIT but I kind of wanted to look at that and think like what's the bare minimum of people who don't have an endless closet like what are the accessories that could take your outfit to the next level without just adding everything okay let's do it I hope that makes sense first thing so simple a belt this I thrifted it was again in my last thrift haul this is just a leather men's belt it is so easy to thrift just find a real leather one so it'll last longer in your closet and not deteriorate or anything like that adding this to your jeans your khakis your even like camo pants skirts dresses anything put it through the loopholes put it around your waist whatever you want it really does add so much to an outfit and adds this sophisticated I don't know sophisticated look it's so funny because in middle school I I would never wear my jeans without like those big leather brown braided belts from like Abercrombie or Hollister. I always had one of those on with just like a black tight t-shirt and then my skin tight jeans that flared out at the bottom and like moccasins. That was my go-to outfit. So adding that belt again, it really does add so much to an outfit. The least amount of effort. I just have to get back into the habit of grabbing for it and not forgetting to put on the belt because that's normally what happens. I normally get dressed like in a rush and kind of haphazardly now. So I need to remember to just grab the belt, put the belt on. So easy. So you can 
go for something simple like that. Or I have this belt that I got off Poshmark last winter, I think. It is a big like buckled Moschino heart belt. And with something like this that doesn't fit through belt loops all the time, you can just like place it over where the belt loops would go and still wear it low waisted. Again, like with low slung on a dress or higher up cinching in your waist, I still think is a cute look. Uh, it's not as trendy right now, but it's still really, really cute. So just adding a belt to your look. You don't have to add your belt and then 700 more things. Like a belt really does, does a lot. Okay, next, this outfit is adorable, but I could see, you know, a rugby shirt looking a little bit too masculine for somebody who's not used to wearing clothes like this, this baggy or whatever. So I just went and I added a little knit bow in my hair and immediately it takes it to this much more like girly, youthful look that I feel more confident in. I'll wear very androgynous clothing, that doesn't bother me. But this just spiced it up a little bit and bows will do that. But adding bows not just to your hair. So I just buy a bunch of ribbon. You can get it from the dollar store. It's not like a long roll ever so it might honestly be a scam but you don't need that much ribbon to just make some bows do not purchase pre-made bows you can tie them to your bobby pins ribbon tie the ribbon to the end of your bobby pins stick them all in your hair tie them just around your ponytails around your pigtails around your braids you can add bows to literally everything put them on the safety pin put bows all over a crew neck I've seen you know if you want to go really far people sewing bows to their outfits adorable um very sandy laying you can get inspo from there but it's such an easy thing to diy and if you are in a rush and like just feel like your outfit is lacking literally put your hair in pigtails and put two bows on the end you will immediately look so stinking cute tie bows around your laces switch your laces for ribbon okay kind of going into bows is headwear because you can tie bows in your hair like i keep saying but also something i've been super into is just honestly all kind of headwear i really still like the puff padded headbands I will add those to an outfit when I feel like I'm lacking. It adds so much. Again, just this like preppy style. I'm into kerchiefs. So you can have it in like a summer way, like crochet. And keep them to tie your hair kind of back and tie under your neck. But also like a Sherpa corduroy lined kerchief or a knit one. And you tie it under your chin to cover your ears in the winter time. Adds so much more to an outfit than just like a beanie would. Something else I have that you guys know I love. I've had this for like two years now. Little beret. This one's Vivian Westwood. I got it off Bayi. Little plaid Vivian Westwood beret. But it just adds, again, so much more than a beanie ever will. And I'm not saying never put on a beanie, but if you feel like your outfit is lacking and you already have your beanie on, swap your beanie for something a little bit more quirky. <laughs> Why does that word have such like a negative connotation to it? Okay, again, staying up here because this is the first thing people see. It's gonna have the most effect on your outfit is stylizing anything up here, whether it be with makeup or braces. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but next thing is fun hairstyles. Like I keep saying, I do these little pigtails all the time and they just make my outfit so much more cutesy, which is what I am going for most of the time. So pigtails, little low space buns, braids. You know, Pinterest has the most hair and spo in the entire world and you can literally search like hairstyle for 4C curl or I don't know what those are, but you know what I'm saying? They will have hairstyles for any hair type, any length, even if you have like a pixie cut, you can literally add like, you know, clips and bows and ribbons in your hair. And um, there's a Pinterest board for your hair, which is awesome because I don't really know anything about hair. As you can tell, my fun hairstyle is a ponytail with a ribbon attached to it. Okay, then also, again, just glasses or sunglasses. You can change up your whole look by adding a pair of glasses. I have recently found the website called I Buy Direct and I got two pair of glasses because my baby has been taking my glasses and playing with them and I am so, blind that I get so worried she's gonna take, I wear contacts, that she's gonna take my glasses and break them and then I won't have glasses for like a few weeks. So I bought two backup pairs and I just have so much fun wearing my glasses now and switching out my looks just with glasses. They literally change up so much. So even if you don't have a prescription lens, just buy a pair of glasses. You could literally thrift them, whatever. Go on iBuyDirect, they're really inexpensive there, especially if you don't need corrective lenses. Switch them out. I think glasses in the fall and winter time are a lot more practical because in the summer they're like hot and they get foggy and they're not comfortable to wear but in the fall time i'll wear my glasses out summer you can't catch me with glasses it's too hot and uncomfortable it makes me claustrophobic okay then next thing that i keep talking about are a pair of socks these ones from cotton are absolutely perfect just like a thick slouchy sock that you could pair with you know just a pair of sneakers but then this knit 
texture of like the preppiness and like uh, elevatedness will take your Adidas Sambas and make them look so much cuter. You pair it with like these socks, Adidas Sambas and little boxer shorts and a crew neck. That's a freaking outfit. Or these little socks, jean shorts. Like if you want to go even more basic, jean shorts, Sambas and a crew neck. And these socks just elevate it. Making sure to swap out the pieces you can to something that seems like it had a little bit more thought to it will just take your outfit to the next level. That's something that I struggle with because Again, I get dressed pretty fast, and so I just grab whatever socks, but I need to like think like, okay, these socks fit better. So like I keep saying, I'm arguing that jewelry doesn't do that much to an outfit you're wearing. I feel like, I don't know if it's we're so used to seeing everyone wear jewelry now and wear so much jewelry that like, it doesn't change your whole outfit. Yes, it is so cool and it like looks pretty. I don't know, cause I'm even thinking like Victoria Paris, like she's been wearing so much jewelry recently and I would argue that that's not what has been making her style cool. I think her outfits and her haircut and shoes and all that stuff have been making her outfits cool and her, her accessories, like her jewelry just looks that cool because the outfit, the canvas, that good. Like her haircut is so good now. It does so much for her instead of, you know, the like 2000s Victoria's Secret blowout she had before. Like this just fits her vibe so much more. I'm gonna have pictures here so you guys know what I'm talking about if you have no idea who Victoria Paris is. She's a TikToker. With all those things, if you're just somebody who is never gonna switch your beanie out for a beret <laughs> or switch out your crew sock because they don't give you blisters for a thick sock, I don't know. I get it. And you're like, but what about me? I'm not adding all these accessories. I'm never gonna put a belt in. I'm never gonna tie a ribbon in my hair. I get it. So with that, I would say you gotta get statement pieces. This rugby shirt literally will do it all i don't need to have anything else going on i could wear no pants honestly and this rugby shirt is enough to look like an outfit the colors the cut of it everything it speaks volumes already if you're not into such like a statement statement piece because you're like well i want to wear my rugby shirt every day then and only focus on my rugby shirt i get it i still get it when you're looking for basics then when you're looking for just a plain black tank top go for something more like this those little details will add so much more than just a plain black tank top you could have all those details too and still add all your accessories like that but i get it if that's not all you or that's not what you want to do whatever a white t-shirt go for something like this instead you can still wear them over and over and over again but they have those little key details that will elevate your look and that's all i have to say today so thanks so much for watching this video you guys remember to check out cotton i will have everything that i showed linked in the description box for you guys and and right yeah use the link in the description box make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to I have a lot of more fun videos planned for you guys and that's all I love you bye